Good morning. I'm just finishing getting ready for school. Today is the last day of term, which is really exciting. So I have today to go and then I'm on a break for two weeks and then I go back for term three and that's my last term. And then I graduate, which is terrifying. But we're doing a lot of fun things today. So I thought I would take you along and show you what I'm getting up to. So while this is technically like my last day of school, I'm not actually on campus today. I'm at this really cool tech school and I'll show you all the cool things that I'm doing there. But it's gonna be a fun time. So I've just gotta finish doing my makeup and packing my bag for school and then I'm heading off. But I'm gonna do that off camera because I need to rush a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll see you soon. All right, I had to rush to get out of the house and it's actually already starting to rain. Wow, I love that for me. But I'm heading to the bus stop to go to the tech school. And basically I'm gonna explain what we're doing there now so that I can just get into work when I get there. I don't know why walking with an umbrella is so embarrassing. Basically, we're going to this tech school because my school does this thing called Fashion Fortnite where basically for two weeks, so a fortnight, we make a wearable art piece as a group. It's a really fun project, it's so cool. And usually we do it on campus, which is where we did it last year. But this year, we are doing it at this tech school, which has like 3D printers and laser cutters and all this cool technology. And today's the last day of the project, but it's been so much fun learning about all these cool machines and things you can do with it. It's so much fun. So when we get there today, I will show you what I've been working on. My hair looks a mess, but it's been so much fun and I'm so excited to show you guys. Wow, gorgeous. And we've got little bugs. It's not focusing. There we go. They don't look like bugs right now, but they are, I swear. They're little bugs. I haven't explained what this project is to the vlog, hold on. So, I'm making a glove. This is the glove. I was trying to explain what my glove was, but it doesn't really look like a glove. It kind of just looks... Ben 10. Now he's got super powers. He's no ordinary. In what? They started laser cutting something in that room and I had to leave. That smell was so bad. But I've come to make tea. They have a kitchen. Here's my glove. Hey guys, here's my not glove. But here's the glove we made. So what did we do? It's really sexy. We 3D printed this part, the, the white part, and then all the little like computer tech looking stuff is actually the inside of a keyboard. Oh my god. What? And I 3D printed little bug dudes and we're gonna put those maybe on the like yeah, we'll on the glove. The, on the glove. And, and the headpiece and the earpiece I made. And now we're making tea. I got your cup. Oh well yes I kind of making tea. What tea do you have, Alicia? Oh great. Look guys, oh, it's Irish. a hot water oh, tap. It's one of those taps that just produces boiling water and sort of just it's taking so long today. What oh it's kind of crazy. I didn't know you could even do that. Yeah, they have them at my dentist. Ooh, vlog on Tumblr. I do. I have a Tumblr vlog. <laughs> I have a Tumblr vlog too. I made a Tumblr vlog um, after I read Solitaire. In, in Solitaire, like one of her main things is that she runs a blog. Oh, uh, so then you're like, I need a blog. And then I was like, I need a blog. So, what's happened is I originally wanted to use this, right? It's, it's very cool, except it printed with like bits in between, which didn't work out, and I'm very sad. So, we tried to reprint it, and what needs to happen is it needs to 3D print two layers and then you lay down the fabric on top and then it continues printing, kind of sandwiching the fabric in between the 3D print. That didn't happen, they just printed straight on top of the material and all of the little bits started to peel off, which is not ideal. So we used another kind of messed up bit. It's a, it's a lot thinner, it's a whole lot thinner, but it is more flexible. So we're using that to like be the cuff of the glove that I'm making. 
and then this is going to be the top of the glove I'm gonna add more like tech bits but yeah that's where I am with this wearable art piece yep Georgina is making these, these are my little tech bugs and then I'm gonna be using copper wire I don't know where it went so yep. then she's gonna use this and they're gonna be their legs and then so we'll talk about your and then this is the earpiece I laser cut this out of acrylic and that's gonna be going on Alicia's ear like that I can even wear my earring with this one like that and then the little bugs will be on the edges so they're going to be going on to, I have like so many different versions of this, but pretty much it'll be like this on like the edges of this. Yeah. And we're also going to be making, I'm going to make like a few more because these are 3D printed. Mm -hmm. And put them like all over different parts of yeah. the piece, so like the glove and the face bit. Oh, we finished printing. This is the eye piece. So yes. Sienna is making a piece of the eye. So how's that going to fit on? I have to melt this so that it... Bends. Bends around it, yeah. So is this coming off, this part? Yes. I don't know why it did that. I got the heck? Do it? Yeah, don't. Please don't hurt me. Because this... It's just all the foundation in. If you break it. Alright, so this is our thing that goes around. And we we're going to have this on top so that there's like the geometric fading into it. But it looks a bit weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up these bits. And I'm going to glue it onto this part and see how it looks. I know it's probably really, really loud because I'm sitting by a main road, but I just finished school for the term and I'm getting the bus home. My camera died before I could show you the final results, so here are some photos. That's the top of my glove and I have to put it all together next term when I return to school. But now I'm going home. I've got some homework to get done, stuff to do. But it was a pretty good last day, very productive. I'm very happy with how things are turning out and how it ended. All right, I am home from school and I'm hating how early it gets dark at the moment. That's just winter though, so I mean, can't really do much. But there's a few things that I need to get done tonight. So the first thing I need to get done is I need to answer a few emails before I go away this weekend. Second thing I need to do is I need to prepare to go away on Sunday. I'm going to diabetes camp, so I need to pack and make sure that I've got all the stuff that I need. And the third thing that I really need to do is this homework. Or at least I need to start the homework. But it's also really, really, really cold. So I'm gonna put on a hoodie. I, see I have the heater on in my room and I'm still freezing. I feel like that's saying something. All right. I have a feeling I haven't showed you. I got a PC set up, which is kind of cool. So I got like my monitor on my little arm and then my keyboard that I'm going to get white keycaps for. I don't know why I didn't just get a white keyboard. Well, I do. The shop where I bought all my like stuff didn't have the white keyboard I wanted. And they were like, it's going to take six to eight weeks to get it in. And I was like, I'm not waiting that long. So I just got the black one. But I did get... A white mouse, so it, it really all just doesn't make sense. But yeah, now I feel nice and fancy whenever I sit down and edit my videos or send my emails at my big girl computer. I'm so tired. I need my glasses. Ooh. There we go, that's so much better. Hello, why isn't my internet available? My internet isn't working, hold on. Okay, it's all fine. <laughs> all right, let's answer these emails. I'm back. My camera died and I went and ate dinner with my mom. We had uh, chicken drumsticks with like nice fresh vegetables. It was so good. But I'm back and I've got some homework to do now. Yeah. What's going on with our internet? Um, nothing that I'm aware of. It's literally not connected on my phone, my Alexa, or my computer. Wait, hold up. Did I get the internet back running? I think I did. <laughs> So, let's... Should I play Lo-Fi Girl Why? <laughs> while I study? I have never done this in my life. Isn't there like Lo-Fi Girl and Synthwave... Synthwave Boy? Bro, I forgot my, my computer doesn't have Bluetooth. Hold on. 
It doesn't have speakers either. Ugh, why is my computer janky? Um, I'm just gonna go steal my brother's headset. Be back. I look so goofy. I look so silly. My Spotify isn't working either. The app's not working and the web player isn't working. So, <laughs> how am I gonna study? Oh, wait, my Spotify's working again. Cool, cute, sick. All right. It's like 11 and I only just finished my homework. No, <laughs> correction, it's 11.40. It's literally almost midnight, what am I doing? But my mom was an angel and made me a cup of tea. Also, while I was waiting for my bus today to come home, I did a teeny tiny bit of shopping, but my camera was pretty much dead, so I didn't show you the vlog that. But I'm gonna give you a whole now, so. I've been having a lot of really bad luck this week with like school, my life, and then this morning, all at once, well it was last night and this morning, but all at once, all of my skincare products ran out. So I had to go buy <laughs> all of them again, which was really expensive, but it's fine. So I got my usual cleanser, which is the Freshen Up Cleanser from Bondi Sands. I love this. This is my favorite cleanser. It's a great second cleanse if you do a double cleansing routine. It's one of the only cleansers that I found that hasn't broken me out and I've been using it for like four or five months now. I love it so much. Then I repurchased the Thirsty Skin Serum from Bondi Sands again. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I had never tried a Hyaluronic Acid Serum before, but I don't think I can ever go back. So I really enjoyed using this one and I repurchased it. I wanted to add a nice cinnamide to my routine for a while now. And Bondi Sands also had a nice cinnamide serum vitamin B3 serum plus niacinamide. This sounds like an ad for Bondi Sands. It's not, I promise you. I just really love Bondi Sands skincare. If they want to sponsor me. And then I don't know if it was some kind of deal or what, but when I was checking out at Chemist Warehouse with all my Bondi Sands items, she turns around and she goes, oh yeah, you get a free little skincare bag, which is so cute. Are you kidding me? That is adorable. It says, happy, healthy, real skin. I love it so much. Oh, my little skincare is gonna go in there. I'm going away this weekend, so it's perfect. Then I went to Priceline because they don't sell this at Chemist Warehouse and I repurchased the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA. This is my favorite moisturizer. I've been using it for over a year now and I just keep repurchasing it. I was gonna try some of the Bondi Sands moisturizers, but I got too scared that it was gonna break me out. So I just went and got my normal one. But yeah, that's the little skincare haul. I'm so happy and excited about this. Like, are you kidding? I just finished drinking my tea and it's pretty late. It's, it's literally midnight. So I don't think I'm gonna do a whole lot more. I spent so much time doing homework and other stuff. Right now I'm going to go have a quick shower, do my skincare get in my pajamas, I'll see how tired I am. I might read a little and then go to sleep because I have work tomorrow, so I need energy. I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'm using the go-to oil cleanser that I um I got as a tester. And I don't know if this has like got fragrance in it, I should look it up. Or if it's literally just like the smell of the oils that are used in it. And then when I get out of the shower, I will wash my face with the gel Bondi Sands cleanser and do the rest of my skincare. I'm back from my shower. This, I got this new like long sleeve nighty yesterday from Peter Alexander, which is like so expensive, but they've got like this massive sale on at the moment. So I got it at an extremely discounted price. It was ridiculous. Honestly, I love end of financial year sales because you get stuff like this. Cause this, hound. You know what? Some of you are probably gonna find this extremely ugly, but I think it's cute and it has pockets. 
but it was like 29 bucks and it's so comfy. I, I love it, it's so fun. I'm gonna do my skincare. From all my little research and layering and stuff, the one that I have to put on first would have usually been my hyaluronic acid serum, but apparently I put this one on first now, the niacinamide one. I put this one on first and then the hyaluronic acid one. And then finally, And then because I am breaking out, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. Because I am breaking out a little bit down here around my hairline, I'm going to put some pimple patches on. I wish I had the small ones of these left, but I ran out the other day. So now I just have to use the really big ones and look a little silly, but it's fine. I'm going to sleep in these, so no one's even going to see me anyway. See, that is my skincare routine all done for tonight. I was planning to read a little before I went to sleep. But it's already really late and I know if I start reading now, I will not sleep at all. I'll just pull an all-nighter and I can't do that. So I'm just gonna go to sleep and get some rest. I'm on holidays though now, so I'm hoping to film a reading vlog in the second week of the holidays when I'm back from diabetes camp, which is kind of exciting. I've been wanting to do one forever. But thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. As always, if you've got any video suggestions or things you'd like to see from me, please let me know. I always love reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you so much. Good night.